Mobileye is an NYSE-listed Israeli company that designs and develops software and related technologies for camera-based advanced driver assistance systems. Okay, fantastic. What that really means is they're the people who put the stuff into cars, both the original equipment manufacturers that allows you to do things like change lanes, see when someone's close to you, driverless vehicles as well, because of course we know that that's a big thing. Google's working on that as well. Market cap, $10.7 billion, trades on a PE of 890 and pays no dividends. That's not infinite, but it's, you know, so close to infinite, you might as well. Right? You got appetite for this one? <laughs> Again, I mean, if you, if you go look at the mobile eye story, I mean, it's, and it's worth looking at, it, it looks fantastic what these guys are doing. I mean, it's two, you know, it's a professor out of Israel that sort of developed the technology, and it's it's, it's really a standalone solution. And, and I mean, they've got videos on, on their website as well that you can go and see how the technology works. I mean, and how they, they pick up uh, basically the edge of roads and, and how, how, the, how it actually works is absolutely Absolutely amazing. They've got they've got guys in in Sri Lanka that are actually marking up roads, and they use that as a database to compare the, the video to, and that's how they, how it makes its decisions. Um, and it's 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 leaps and bounds. Like from from what I understand, which is not probably a lot around this technology, it is leaps and bounds ahead of anything else uh, in the market. Um, using I think eight cameras, uh, four or five chips that they also develop the chips, um, and then a sonar and a radar. And it it just I mean how it picks up. I mean they've got videos of sort of snowy road and this thing driving, and you you as a human can't see the edges of the roads, but it's picking up the edges of the roads from the cameras. Very very exciting. A glowing technology. glowing report <laughs> from Gary. I don't even know if you can get more enthusiastic <laughs> than that, Paul. Can you be more enthusiastic? Well, look, I mean, they say that the future of vehicles is going to be driverless and so on. I don't know. I mean, I think that's fine in California, where the only accidents they ever have are when a human-driven car rear-ends the driverless car. Here in South Africa, can you imagine a driverless car here? The car's sitting at the front of the four-wheel stop. Taxi goes round. Taxi goes round. Wait, I can't move yet. Taxi go It's going to be we would never following get distance. No, somebody comes in front of you. So I don't see if driverless vehicles working outside of, you know, countries where people drive <laughs> a calm and grown-up fashion. But we're talking about developed environments then. Yeah. The developed world will probably be, probably be able Let's to Let's have a look at the share chart because, again, these. this is a company that is, you know, in its early stages. It's only been listed on the New York Stock Exchange for a shorter period. But there's a long history of IT companies out of Israel listing in America because they like the profile and the visibility. Gary, can you tell us who their main customers are? So uh, this is stuff which you can retrofit into an existing car, but it's also who do they sell systems to? Uh, yeah, there's a whole list. I mean, they've just signed contracts with like Sanyong, they, Vico. There's, it's, it's a list of major brands. And it's mostly into. used in trucks and related cars uh, that are high value or retail. Uh, it, it, seems, it seems all sorts of cars. Um, yeah. But I mean, yeah, looking at that share price chart, the, like the big risk around this, this company really is that, um, that, that they don't perhaps, I mean, they don't maybe own their patents. That's been the, the, the criticism. And that sell-off that we saw in the share price, uh, it was 19%. That was actually Citroen Research came out and they, they basically, they questioned all the patents and uh, basically the mm. moats around the company. They're saying, you know, like the likes of Continental, for example, can come in and, you know, almost, uh, you know, reverse engineer the yeah. technology. Yeah. And they are not going to be the ones with, with I think they do $56 million worth of um, R&D spending. They're not the ones that mm. are going to roll this out mm. to the globe. Mm. And that's what the stock is priced for, that they will be the ones that fit it in every single car yeah. and that's the debate gary i would be very disappointed now if you called this not hot after <laughs> the glowing report that you've given us so i'm going to put it to you hot or not again like you can't seriously own this uh, uh, in a client portfolio you know without the him very much understanding that this is incredibly speculative but if they pull off what they're talking about incredibly exciting hot or not hot Hot, thank hot, you. Hot. Thank with, that, you. with that qualifying. With that qualifying. Mm. Now, my statement. rule is you can't own things that are worth less than a billion rand. Do you remember this thing's got a market cap of $10 billion? So that already tells you that a lot of people with a lot of money have decided that this is this a is very a interesting to way to back. So I'm going to give it a hot. Why not? Let's be generous.